y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my living room as I'm about to watch episode five of Peacemaker streaming right now on HBO Max. And I didn't know I'd be this excited about a show. I was hoping I would enjoy it, but I'm so thoroughly delighted by many, many, many things about this series that I'm excited that we have a new episode. <laughs> so this last weekend, I had my mind blown for multiple reasons about Adrian Vigilante Chase. So as his character came on, there was something, something going, I know I've seen him. I know I've seen him. Where have I seen him? Where have I seen him? Freddie's drama sounds familiar. Where have I seen him? So I finally looked it up. Holy crap. Cormac freaking McLaggen. I'm like, impossible. Impossible. He's a kid. He's 15. Forever. Right? That can't be him. Of course it's him. But I was like, oh my gosh, he's now an adult. And then I remembered he was also the prince in Bridgerton. Like, oh my goodness, that's right. But what really blew my mind was as I was scrolling, you know, looking up information, I spotted this photo. This photo was part of my character gallery on my Sprawlin' A Ranch series, all my cowboys. There was so many cowboys, I had a little picture to remind me when I was first writing it, who was who. That was who I imagined as Adam. <laughs> so for 10 years, that face has been in my peripheral vision next to my computer. But you age him up, give him dark hair, glasses. I didn't recognize him. So yeah, many, many surprises for me this weekend. But good for you, dude. So glad you're finding work. <laughs> so before we jump into this episode, I want to throw out a few more story questions, ideas, only because they were so nice to answer so many of them last week. So one of the first thoughts I had was, it was implied in a comedic way that Amber and her husband, Evan, both happened to pick Augie out of the lineup as the intruder. Ha ha, funny. What a coincidence. Was it a coincidence? Or do you some of you think Leota might have had a little hand in that when she was bribing. Here's some bribe. By the way, this is the guy we want you to pick out of the lineup. Because we all know Leota has, one, she's been manipulative, and two, I, she's on a mission that's not the butterflies. I think she's sent for a different reason altogether. So, possible idea. Also, we all want to know, everyone's asked, Mern, was he a butterfly? free mission or when he got knocked out in the explosion did one of the other butterflies infest him at the time yes and we'll find out and also i was wondering if perhaps older brother older brother was the intended peacemaker or sidekick or hereditary of white dragon his oldest son is going to be the next super whatever and Chris was the training dummy in the punching bag. But something went awry. Older brother gets killed. And Augie just wanting so desperately to have a legacy went, okay, kid, I'll, I'll pass this on to you. Because there's a few conflicting things, which is he said he hated him from birth, yet he still took the time to train him. And he still takes the time to make him weapons and whatnot, even though he was in prison. There's more there than meets the eye. So yeah, that was just one of the random thoughts I had. So you're saying, get on with it. We want to watch you watch it because we've already watched it. We want to see you watch it. So yeah, we'll get to it. So got my big comfy blanket, got my beverage of choice. So let's get to it. Breakfast of champions, right? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I saw. Love you too. <gasps> it's too darn cute. Hey, are you avoiding my call? Yes. No, no, not at all. I... I don't think I'd put her listed as mom in my phone. I would pick a different pseudonym there. They enter the human body through one of its orifices and borrow mm -hmm. through the brain where they're then in control of the body. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> Creativity on the part of whomever did the animation. 
Okay. That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. Bigotry. This viscous amber fluid has been found on the premises of all the dead butterflies. Lab studies show the fluid's genetic structure is dissimilar to anything on this planet. The fluid seems to be the butterfly's only food source. I have questions. Dude, I didn't mean to put your father in prison. Then why'd you put him there, you fat fuck? Because I couldn't think of anybody else. What about Ariana Grande or Drake? What? Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug, Khloe Kardashian, the Red Tiger from Voltron, Brad Tarkenton, <laughs> Joe, Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, BTS. Eugene Levy? <laughs> what? Do y'all want to be here till tomorrow? Do you have cable? So I don't want to stay here overnight if there's no cable. Fargo's on tonight. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. So question. This viscosis fluid is dissimilar to anything on Earth, yet all these butterflies tend to have it all in the same jar. So where did it come from? I'm guessing this Glentai company manufactures it from what? They have to have a source to manufacture it from, right? I know, I'm asking rhetorical questions. So... Where are they getting their stuff from? Uh. <laughs> Lucy Lou, because they're both Asian. How incredibly fucking clever. What should I call you, Jimmy Fallon? Registration says otherwise, Guy Fieri. And your fingerprints, Blake Shelton, are all over the murder victim's apartment. I'm running out of white guys. Because <laughs> I didn't fucking do it. Then who did? My shithead fucking son. He gave him up. They didn't fingerprint him when they booked him? All right, that's enough. We could always do a white snake power Ooh. Up. So it's just the five of us against an alien invasion? And Mern? Well, I was counting Mern, just not Dybeer back there because he's fucking useless. Dude, what'd I say? <sighs> Sorry, Economos, jeez. That sounded very sincere. Thank you very much. <laughs> And who answers, looks in at the window like this? <laughs> Shoot me right now. Come a far away from the jungles of Naya, sir. This man looks familiar from other things. Now you were some angel. I think you played an alien of some sort. A different alien. I'll take care of you. They made us do it. We were afraid for our lives. <laughs> <laughs> he was a pretty nice guy all things considered we didn't want to get him in trouble and the one that you got in there now is some sort of nazi right hmm. how would they know that hmm. we're not even sure they're in there just take your pistol i finger bang you no use my pinky that's a disgusting phrase you're just saying that because lesbians don't finger bang we finger bang more than the rest of the world combined <laughs> No! That doesn't seem very efficient. Oh, come on, please. Fuck, I'm never ever gonna kill someone with a fucking chainsaw. It's so not fair. Activate x-ray vision. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? <laughs> what? That's not questioning people. You can't get the answers if they're dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have to shoot people after I already killed them. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Where did you lock yourselves in, pumpkin? Your friends are with Charlie, they won't last long. Who's Charlie? The gorilla? Charlie the gorilla? Oh, <laughs> There's a fucking... 
It's the gorilla. <laughs> Hold this. Yo, what the hell is that? It's a grenade I tied to a Bomb. Why not just the grenade? The grenade blows up like two people. How many people does this blow up? I don't know. I invented it this morning. What? <laughs> run at a bio would have been appreciated. Oh, really? I need to tell you to run from a fucking bomb? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a CGI gorilla, right? Right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. so sad he couldn't do it with himself with the that must be meaningful the way they set it up that is probably going to come back somewhere Hang on. He was just told he's not getting out of jail. <laughs> he got his fingerprint results back from the lab. They matched the prints of the crime scene. Hmm. Captain, what the hell is going on? Hmm. Huh? Where's Captain Mealy? Well, the mayor wasn't pleased with Yeah. Him. Sir. Detective Song, are you a forensic print analyst? Perhaps a forensics degree you didn't want to share with the department for fear would give you an unfair advantage? No, I don't have any of those things. Well. And I don't see how In addition you... to that, two witnesses admitted that they were lying and they identified Christopher Smith, peacemaker, not his father, as the Are man they going to be now. killed now? August Smith controls Ooh. the Aryan Empire. Would this be the first time they coerced someone into changing their testimony? Hello? It's done. Good. So, we guess this means butterflies can use any life form as a host. So it can inhibit eagly. Importantly, we want to see if we can trace where the raw amber fluid originally yes, came from. Yes, please. Finding the source of the butterfly's food may be key to defeating them. So, uh, we haven't heard yet why the butterflies need to be defeated. Hmm. You sure this is a good idea, Self? This new captain, Locke, he won't do the right thing, so fuck it. Fuck him. I'll go over his head. I know this judge. We can... He's fair. We can trust him. So you said. And also, he's my uncle. Oh! They've got a group text now? <laughs> That's evidence! That's evidence! You gotta delete it now! And this, this is a, a, a peace train. And what is in the peace train? It is gin. Vermouth, vinegar, peppercorn, a little maple syrup, and some yak butter. Mm -mm -mm. I love a good cocktail, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. you in Harcourt? Hmm. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> she digs me. She called me handsome. She did. Oh yeah. How? <laughs> Ow. Okay, so she says. <clears throat> I'm quoting here. <sighs> Just because you're handsome. That's how she mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, she said, uh, just because you're handsome, you think you can do whatever you want. Right. Even though you're a piece of shit murderer. I've never had this before. What? <laughs> this, you, you're giving me advice and having my back. She's going to drop that diary somewhere there, isn't she? It's like a real team out there. Just never thought I'd have it. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. It's the kiss of death. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> but you've left her an opportunity now. 
Yeah, that's a horrible place to leave it. Why are you here? Couldn't sleep. Will that fit on your head? <gasps> Turn on x-ray vision! Activate x-ray vision. Now turn your head. All right. Yo, Mr. Mern, this is crazy. You gotta check this. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Just no. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Right, question while we're waiting for the end credits. They're trying to make Peacemaker more multidimensional, somebody you can more connect to. You want to root for him to become a better person. That's character growth. But on the other hand, does that still make him Peacemaker and the Peacemaker people know and want? Do they want a more well-rounded Peacemaker? Or they want the asshole peacemaker. That is the conundrum. That's the catch-22. It's like you want to be a better person, but then he's not peacemaker. He's somebody else. Oh, that's such a quandary and conundrum. Mm. Riska Hargate, Mario, <laughs> Super Mario, fucking Luigi. Okay, another excellent episode. Mm, I think the last one probably I preferred more than this one. But man, it went fast. It went really fast. Uh, so again, the conundrum. Do we want a more evolved pacemaker, peacemaker or do we want the dick peacemaker? As a person, I want him to be more evolved. But as a character, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if also Augie is a target for some other mission like they're wanting to take him down i have a feeling we're gonna see that white dragon costume again uh how many episodes do we have left what three three left to wrap up most of this i don't know i don't know if that's enough time uh is leota gonna survive Mern? Mm, maybe i don't know and again we haven't heard why the butterflies need to be defeated just that they need to be defeated hopefully next episode we find out why what and why? And again, they have the food source. There's a food. There needs to be a source to create the food. Where is that coming from? Is that important to know? I don't know. I don't know. But the fact that they are all coming together as a group and Harcourt kind of broke out of her shell so much. She's so much. It's not that she just went, okay, I'll be a little bit more friendly with you all. She created a group text and gave them a name and posted pictures that could have found, get them arrested and whatever. <laughs> that seems really out of character for her. Cute, but really out of character. And the gorilla, why a gorilla? We knew the gorilla was coming from last episode. Didn't know why. A gorilla of all things. Why? That's all the whys, the whys. Are they bad whys? Ah, uh, maybe not necessarily. But those are the things I get fixated on and I want to have answered. I don't know if it's important overall, but again, that's my fixation. <laughs> but again, another fun episode and I'm glad that you came and enjoyed the adventure with me. I do hope to see you again next week and tomorrow and for all the other adventures and all the other fun stories that I am watching at this time because I do appreciate any time that you have to spend with me. So thank you so much. And until next time, y'all.